today we're going to be talking about Super Mario Wonder because we have an update for the game that may or may not upset you. It, it, it's going to be really interesting to see how this is handled and if this actually leads to what it's suggesting because the update comes directly from Nintendo. Now, look, there's a lot of other things we could talk about right now. There is likely an upcoming Nintendo Direct either on September 6th or the week following September 6th. So that is something that I see a lot of channels talking about. And we may indeed do some preliminary speculation on a future Direct on the podcast tonight. But that is not something I wanted to focus on for this video because I do feel like we have an interesting conversation, an honest conversation we need to have about games like Super Mario Bros. Wonder and what is happening here with the future of Nintendo's stuff. Now, before we dive in, I do want to remind you we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate it if you would drop a like, subscribe to the channel, especially if you're enjoying this video, and maybe ringling that dingling so you can be notified of all of our uploads. All right, so let's dive right into this. We see this tweet yesterday from Nintendo of Europe. It says, adventures are more fun with friends. Team up locally in four-player co-op to complete courses in hashtag Super Mario Bros. Wonder, arriving on hashtag Nintendo Switch on 2010. Or since it's Nintendo of Europe, you know, for us in the United States, that's, you know, October 20th and then it links to the full trailer now unfortunately there's no new footage in here you guys know just like we did with Tears of the Kingdom if there was new footage we would be all on top of it this is the same multiplayer footage they showed in the original trailer but what's interesting about this statement of course is that it, it mentions specifically four player co-op which is something that you do in person they don't mention four player online co-op they don't mention four player online gameplay they just say four player co-op now when you go to the official website it does note an online connection is required for online features but there's no online features noted besides the ability to use a game voucher to purchase the game which obviously you need to be on a member of nso and and all that stuff and go through the eShop. so that's interesting i, I do think when we're looking at this it, it's important to note that this is how Nintendo has talked in the past about games that do not feature online co-op play because they would put four-player co-op, you know, couch or online, usually in the statement. So since they didn't do that, the presumption here is that Super Mario Bros. Wonder will not have online. And there's been some interesting comments about it. When we go down here, we see uh, one of my good friends, Just Cliff, from the 1UP Podcast crew saying, hey, so it basically confirms no online plays. Two steps forward, one step back. All multiplayer games should have the online option. And it's notable to note, Super Mario 3D World did add online gameplay to it when it was brought over to Nintendo Switch, something that wasn't in the original game. And they add online play to pretty much all multiplayer games on NSO. So it has become a standard at Nintendo to offer online play in multiplayer situations, but it appears they're not doing that with Wonder, at least at launch. So you have some people excited, but then you see, dang, no online. Where's the Splatoon update trailer? Uh, I totally play online. It looks like the game will have the same slidey controls like the last one. I'm not going to buy it. That's a different complaint. Why? No online. Locally, no online. Seriously, Nintendo? I guess I'll play it alone. Only local. Is there really no online? I was hoping to play this with my girlfriend while we're both in college. And if online is out of the picture, I might end up waiting for a sale and cancel my pre-order. If it's just going to end up being a solo game for me... <laughs> This will say it's worse with friends, so just remove it. I mean, look, if it was just a single-player game, that's a little bit of a difference, but it's not. No online is such a bummer. Not a developer, but come on, there's got to be a way. Uh, you know, recycled footage again. This is where I mentioned it I would be nice if they would have showed a smidge of new footage, even just a few seconds. But the complaints just kind of go on and on and on uh, about not having a good online focus. I think there was actually a really cool, you know, if you look at the uh, quote tweets, uh, there, there's some interesting ones here, like this one from Jolly J. The implications of no online co-op in Super Mario Bros. Wonder is crazy, considering the 3D World port has it. And then, uh, who buys 2D platformer? No one, inherently, but it's a little something to do on the side. Uh, I think it's more fun to meet up in person. Yeah, but not everyone has that luxury. That's really a big one here, is not everyone does have that luxury. Very important to note. Uh, it was an afterthought. Oh my gosh, this one. This one, what are you doing? It was an afterthought in 3D World. I don't know how many people even played 3D World that way after launch. Plus, I don't think online is a requirement for platforms in general. These aren't going to get as chaotic as, say, the average Mario Kart 8 online match. It's not really 
about how chaotic it gets. And I think Jolly J had a great response, but it still would have been useful to have. I'd imagine people would use this to play online with friends that aren't near. Exactly. It's not about the amount of people. It's that there would be some people that would do this and play the game online. Well, maybe in my house, I play it with my kids or my fiance. What if I want to play with Eric when he's at home and said he's got to drive all the way across town to play with me when he could just hop on a phone call, we could just play the game together and have a lot of fun. If there is an option to do it this way, why not let us have that option? That's what doesn't really make sense to me. So I agree with a lot of the people that are kind of like, man, why is there no online? Now, I, I do, you know, after all of these, this, you know, complaints and stuff, I do want to note, technically, Nintendo has not officially announced that there wouldn't be any online. They just aren't making any references to it. It is entirely possible the game does still feature online play, and we can call that hopium, call it copium, call it whatever you want to call it. Technically, it still could be a feature in the game that for some reason this person who was tweeting this advertisement out for Nintendo of Europe just didn't put it in the text. I know sometimes we can read too much into a social media post and try to glean too much information. And so to play devil's advocate, it is entirely possible there is still online play and they're just, you know, haven't advertised or haven't chosen to advertise it yet. One thing to remember is marketing hasn't really ramped up for the game yet. This is one of the first marketing tweets in a little bit and i'm guessing marketing is not going to probably ramp up until the next direct we've seen nintendo really tighten their marketing schedule now they don't market things non-stop for six plus months anymore they sort of announce it and then do a marketing cycle a month or two before release so i i got a feeling from september onwards we're gonna see a lot i just think that we need to sit back and obviously let nintendo officially announce but i do think that if you want to read between the lines and read the tea leaves, it does sort of look like there might not be online at launch, at least. You know, maybe there'll be a planned update for it in the future or DLC or something. But right now, there doesn't appear to be any plans, at least officially, you know, publicly facing that there's going to be online. And if there is no online play, that is, to me, an oversight and an unfortunate update for a game I'm otherwise excited for. Is it going to affect my purchasing of the game? No, because I was primarily going to either play the game alone or play through it with my fiance. So it doesn't really affect my ability to enjoy the game so much. I didn't really plan to play it online that much, but it would have been a nice feature. And obviously me as a content creator, what would have been cool is if I could have played with some of you guys in a live stream. Instead, now when I stream the game, I probably won't be able to play with any of you guys. And that's just really unfortunate. So that, that's my content creator side. That would have really, really loved having online play. But there's so many of you that legitimately don't have a partner. You don't have kids. You live by yourself and your friends are, you know, all over the world. And you would have preferred to play it with them, you know, through that means. And I understand that in my experience playing some Mario games online like 3D World, uh, you know, it's not a smooth experience unless you're both on a phone call or something or in voice chat, like Nintendo Switch Online app or something, which I still think is a piece of junk, but whatever. Look, I, at least it was a, a possibility for those that would love to experience the game together. So in the end, I hope that this doesn't mean what it seems to be implying. I cannot say this is a 100% confirmation, but I can say it's a pretty big implication when you're only averaging just co-op on its own, which is how Nintendo has always advertised couch co-op in the past. They never call it couch co-op. They just call it co-op. And every time they do that, mm, it generally means there's no online co-op. So we'll have to wait and see if this officially gets confirmed or if this is the confirmation. But I am sad. And I agree with many of the negative comments out there on this. And it's just sort of unfortunate. Again, won't affect my purchasing decision because it's not a feature I was really going to use to play through the game anyways. But I understand if this does affect your purchasing decision. And clearly, if you're someone who wants to, you know, if this is a make or break feature for you, I can see where you just refuse to buy the game on principle. I also think that Nintendo shouldn't be adding online features to all their NSO games, including multiplayer Mario games, including 
things like you know the 3D World. If you're not going to suddenly make that a standard, I, I sort of feel like Nintendo set a standard. So I really hope that this is just a miscommunication. But if it's not, it's just sort of an unfortunate update for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And hopefully the next bit of news we get when they actually begin the marketing cycle for this game is much more positive because, look, we cover the negative news, but I prefer to cover positive news because I am really excited for this game. You know, there's slightly negative news every now and then for Tears of the Kingdom, but a lot of the news heading to the launch was, was super positive. Heck, there's news right now on Tears of the Kingdom that it might have actually helped raise Japan's global GP GDP. Look, I don't know much about, you know, governments and how they handle their revenues and their all, but to hear that a video game did so well, it might have raised an entire nation's global GDP. That's quite interesting. That's a story floating out there. I can't pretend to understand it. That's why I didn't make a video on it, but I wanted to reference it here towards the end of the video. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for being here. Uh, I hope to see you guys tonight at the podcast. We do have the Nintendo Prime podcast happening at 8 p.m. Central Time tonight featuring me and Andres Restart. And right now, that's it. Uh, I've had a very, very, very busy uh, last five days. A lot of chaotic things happening in my life. Just... In general, just life happens to all of us sometimes. Hence why you've seen a lot of cutback in the videos combined with there not being a lot of compelling news to post about. And I don't want to release just a hodgepodge video that isn't very good. I felt like this is a good conversation to have because it's related to an upcoming game and it's a major feature that may or may not be there. So I wanted to make sure we had this conversation on Mario Wonder. Well, tonight we're going to be talking probably a bit about the Nintendo Direct. I don't know who the rest of the guests are going to be at this point because, I, as I said, it's been chaotic. I haven't had time to plan anyone. We'll see if I can get anyone to show up in general. Uh, otherwise, you guys are awesome and amazing. I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me and helping grow our channel. And hopefully we continue to grow as we seek to get to 150,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I don't even know if it's possible, but we're sure damn well going to try. Catch you guys in the next video.